Hello friends. I'm here because you like tier two. I like tier two. When I saw that they had other types of foundation and they seem to have extended some of those shade ranges, I figured let's try these out. I have the tier tier mask fit aura cushion and 31N for reference. There are like three separate videos I've done on me trying to find the perfect shade and I settled on 29 and since then I've been in the sun a lot more so maybe I'm not 29 and anymore but I didn't want to go through all of that again so I assumed that I would also be 29 then in the other foundations back to the two foundations that I got one is more dewy and one is more matte and the red one is kind of in the middle I have combination oily skin so I'm thinking the more matte one would work for me. We are sold out of the 29N in the dewy one, so I got 31N, because that was the next shade up. We shall see how this goes. But if you're curious to see how these work on someone that looks like me, please keep watching. Tear Tear Mask Fit All Covered Cushion Packaging, 10 out of 10. If you've seen the other videos, you also know that I had to, there was a learning curve with knowing how to do cushion foundations. I got down, thank you. Robert Welsh and everybody that commented like correcting me. Thank you. I do appreciate that. Pat, 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 pat. With the other one, with the red one, it oxidizes, which is another reason why I ended up going with a, a lighter shade than I would have wanted to. So let's see if this one also oxidizes. My biggest issue with these foundations is the color range. And I understand like there's been a lot of talk about how they're doing the best in terms of color range uh, for all Korean beauty brands, but it's it kind of sucks because everybody that I know that I want to recommend this to, they wouldn't all have a shade in the tier tier foundation line so i'm like here wanting to be like oh my god you need to try this cushion foundation and i'm like wait a minute i don't know that they'll have your shade but i picked these up because they're supposed to be expanding their shade range and i know they're kind of rolling it out like a lot faster which is good and i just hope that they continue to do that and kind of like work on those in between shades because the the jumps between shades especially at like the, in the deeper range like it's it's extreme like you have shades that are kind of close to me and then like 20 shades deeper <laughs> nothing in between so yeah is this too light this is definitely more of a winter shade so all right we know that let's try this second one which is the tear tear mask fit or a cushion mask shield soft glow so they all mask protecting the semi glow cushion provides a special clear glowing cover that is smudge resistant oh my god you guys so on the completed clinical trial test because that's what it says right there don't worry i'll read it to you but it says it on the box i just want to read it to you prevent smudging of makeup in the mask 72 hour makeup persistence only applicable for 33N Macchiato. So all the other shades, you are on your own. All right, silver again, loving the packaging. Oh, I like this color. I do like this color a lot more. If it doesn't oxidize, this is the right color for me. And this is 31N. That is exactly my shade. Oh my God. Why do I struggle so much with finding the perfect shade? Now we're just hoping this doesn't oxidize. I'll give this some time. We have the more matte coverage on this side in 29N. So we're just gonna ignore the color difference and we're gonna focus on the thick shades. 31N in soft semi-glow. I'll be back. It's been a few minutes now. Has it oxidized? I don't think so. What do you guys think? I don't think it has. Like this definitely looks too light for me. Um, and I like this color a lot actually. So I have to be careful because I know I'm going to get lighter as we progress into the rest of the year. So I'm like, I think I'll just keep these 
and um you know mix and match or something because I'm not okay one side is stickier than the other this side is stickier which makes sense that's the dewy version um but they're both have a level of stick to them I would powder I need to powder I always powder you know this about me or not I don't know this might be your first time here hi hello welcome should we see if we can build these up now I think we would like to see that so let's us do that now again we're gonna ignore the color on this side that's me not picking the right color again I just want to see if we can cover. I'm not going to do my whole face. There's no point. Well, I mean, I guess I could. Ooh. Yeah, it's fine. So, yes, you can, in fact, build that up. That's good to know. And then you even it out. That's like a really good match for me. Okay. Hopefully you guys aren't over me being confused about my shade match. I mean, I get it if you if you are. But, and hopefully this is helping somebody. Is this helpful? Please let me know if this is helpful and if you'd like to see more from maybe other Korean brands. Um, other brands where you're unsure about your foundation because I can at least try them on for you guys if I have them of course both of these can be built up um this is more coverage than I would normally do I mean actually I guess no this is this is good this is good this is okay it's just really light so it's throwing me off I hope this is helpful for like a first impressions. I'm definitely gonna come back on here and do some more, possibly a wear test. No, I will definitely do a wear test. It's such a good match. Huh. That's good. And if this was helpful, I'll see you next time for more makeup chaos. Bye.